Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Today we are taking Kep to the vet. You might be saying, wait, why are you taking Kep to the vet? He's been to the vet like 6,000 times. Yeah, I know. He really has been to the vet nearly 6,000 times. We're going today for his teeth. Kep's teeth um, do look a little unusual. I don't know if I would take him to the vet, but Mallory wants him to go to the vet, so we're going to take him to the vet just to make sure that he's okay. He's, he's got like little red rings around his teeth where his gums are, and um, I don't know if that's just because his teeth are coming in or whatever, but uh, Mal said that she looked online and it looks like it could be an early form of gingivitis where the cat loses his teeth. And I was like, you know what, if it's going to happen to anyone, it's going to be cat. And I wish I could show you guys, but, you know, trying to do this to the cat is difficult, so you'll just have to trust me. But it's just a little red ring. So we are on our way over to the vet now to see uh, what the issue is. Hopefully Kep will be okay and hopefully it won't cost too much money. You sniffing, buddy? Huh? You sniffing? Sounds like you might have something serious, which is rare for such a young kitten like yourself. We'll get you figured out. Kitty finished up. Ironically, my mom also had to go to the dentist, so we had two, well not people, but two living creatures going to the dentist, sort of. Um, they checked out Cap, and he does have uh, what looks to be uh, stomatitis, which is like an advanced gingivitis type thing. Um, and it, we don't know why. And More... he brought on by stress. Debbie just told me about it. Well, maybe, well, he's probably stressed. He's He hasn't really enjoyed using the last stage of the toilet, so that's probably the reasoning. He could possibly have a food allergy that could bring it on, um, so he might be allergic to the food. He may have herpes. Um, it's possible, because if he has one of these diseases, it's just a lifelong thing and that you just kind of have to deal with it, because you can't get rid of it. So, unfortunately, I have no idea, like, what it, what to do or how to solve this. She said there's nothing they could do for it. Debbie's cat has it. Yeah, so, um, so what we do is we have some, uh, like, antibiotics. She said antibiotics will help it. Okay, well, antibiotics can help this. If it was brought about by a uh, bacterial thing, then it'll fix it. And we have some gel to um, calm the inflammation. And... That's about it. So we'll see what happens. Now, this could be being brought on by something in the house. Um, she was concerned if maybe Kep was eating plants because that can do it. Um, but we do a really good job of keeping Kep off of the plants, so it's probably not that. I have no idea. Right now, it's a complete mystery. We're gonna go through the uh, antibiotics and the um, the gel and everything and see what happens. And if he doesn't get better, then we might try to change to a grain-free food. Or he could just have herpes or the, I think they called it the, the calcili virus. Um, so, you know, there's a myriad of things that could be wrong with him that may just be uncurable. So you just might be screwed forever, little kitten. We'll just have to put up with you. And hopefully we'll find a way to keep those gums from hurting you. She also gave us um, a plug-in thing that uh, sprays some kind of pheromone that makes them calm. And we can use that uh, around the toilet area and he should go. And that would be good because he poops on the floor. Who's a good kitten? Who's a good kitten? You're a good kitten. Most of the time. He's getting a sink drink for being good. Well mostly good. We kind of had a bit of an issue. I, uh, <laughs> me and Mao attempted to give him his medicine because he gets an antibiotic and also a gel to help the inflammation on his gums. Oh my god, that cat almost tore me to pieces. It was, uh, it was not so good. Also, Minecraft is happening a little bit. Might be playing a little leisurely Minecraft. Might be happening. I'm not going to talk about it. I've been thinking more and more about the fact that uh, Kepler might have been a little stressed from um, trying to learn the toilet. Sagan never really experienced any stress, but Kepler has. And uh, it, it was very obvious that just from, you know, watching him that he, in the later stages, wasn't really happy with it. And, you know, 
continues to poop on the floor. So, I don't know. I'm thinking very strongly that it might be time to stop the toilet training. I don't know. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. But we got his medicine, and I'm sort of. We kind of actually just spilled the medicine all over us because he wouldn't take it. But we tried, and hopefully Kep's teeth will be okay. Because it could be stress. So trying to toilet train him could have brought this on. That's why we kind of want to stop toilet training him. It would be for his health. It's a shame. It really is. Because I think that they could have done it, but I'm not really willing to put my cat's, you know, health at stake to try and teach them something that's going to benefit us. I mean, it's not worth it. Second is smart. He got it. And uh, Kepler's smart too. He's just got some. He's got some things he's holding back. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?